is Tuesday, July 2nd, 2019, Tuesday of the 13th week in Ordinary Time. Now, of course, I have arrived at my new parish. I'm here in Kings Park, St. Joseph's Parish. It's been lovely to be here so far. A lot of good things going on, and I'm still in that learning curve, trying to figure out where everything is and who people are, etc., etc. I can say this much right off the top of my head. This campus is much, much bigger than what I left behind at Blessed Sacrament. This campus has 23 acres of property. Yeah, I know it's been a little while since I've been able to make a post, and I really do apologize about that, but it's been a crazy couple of weeks. And I think I'm just going to give you a quick summary of some of the things that I've tried to do these past couple of weeks. So what I think would be very helpful to do right now is just to show you a few of the clips of some of the attempts that I made trying to get a vlog together. I started a couple of times, and then life just got in the way. Here they are. Today is Tuesday, June 25th, 2019, Tuesday of the 12th week in Ordinary Time. So also on this date in 1981, 38 years ago, Our Lady appeared to six young visionaries in a place called Medjugorje. We do know from the commission that was assembled to study it that at least the first seven days were miraculous and of divine origin. Now today is a moving day for me. I have some gym equipment that I'm asking a company to bring to my new parish. They're supposed to do that this morning. Now, as I said the other day, saying goodbye is difficult. I'm not very good at it. I do have to admit that on Sunday, Nicole and Randy did a great job of bringing everything together with the help of a ton of volunteers and a bunch of others. There was quite the celebration. And as part of that celebration, there was a short video made of many of the parishioners recalling memories and wishing me well. So thank you all very much for coming today. Um, it's very lovely to see all of you gathered here. We're all here to celebrate. So that would be a really nice gesture if we can kind of like replicate something similar um, to that effect for our vlog, our farewell team. I think one of the words that best sums up the way I feel today is anxious, filled with a lot of anxiety about making such a huge change in my life. Today is Wednesday, June 26, 2019, Wednesday of the 12th week in Ordinary Time. And also, today is moving day for us priests. We're all moving to our new assignments. So I do have to admit, the last couple of days have been really crazy days for me. I mean, Sunday we had our Corpus Christi celebration, our Corpus Christi procession. And then following that, there was a farewell party for me. And I have to admit, the turnout was unbelievable. It was incredible. Um, I was, I'm really blessed. I mean, there are just so many good people that have come into my life. Um, then there was, you know, Monday and Tuesday, prep, packing, prepping. Um, yesterday I had to move a lot of the gym equipment. The man cave is now officially, well, partially moved to Kings Park. Some of it ended up in a garage because we just couldn't get it into the room. But here I am. It's now time. Well, at least I'm here in my new rooms. All my stuff is still in boxes and stuff. I have to get the stuff unpacked, but here I am. So one of the things that I've immediately noticed is that I have to do a lot of walking here. None of the buildings are connected to each other, so I've got to go from the rectory to the center, to the church, to the religious ed building. A lot of walking around here, that's for darn sure. So as you can see, we have uh, quite a big church, beautiful church here. I was really excited to uh, introduce myself at all the masses this past weekend. I mean, a lot of the buildings here are pretty old. There's like these narrow staircases, cramped hallways, small rooms. Even all the stuff is between two different locations because now that my office is not right through a doorway in a hall, I have to cross the campus to get here to this office to pick something up if I put it over here. 
But the biggest thing, of course, is just getting used to where everything is, getting around the place, figuring out where I am even at times. A lot of new people, not a lot of new faces. But I'm, I'm going to get there. I, I feel it. I, I'll get there. Another one of those things you take for granted are things like keys. Got a whole new key ring of keys. Didn't even put them all on the key ring yet. So the parish here has a newly ordained priest. His name is Father Alexander Turpin. He was ordained the Saturday before I left Blessed Sacrament and will be just staying with us here for the summer months uh, as he's going to be leaving to go, to go down to Catholic University to get his degree in liturgy. The house that I live in is a very big house and for the, the moment at least we have six priests living here including the newly ordained and a priest for summer help, Father C. Jew Matthew. So since my arrival the other day as well, I've had a couple of visits, particularly from Wasabi. Little Wasabi has come here and he already likes the people here too. So it's been a lot of fun having him visit along with Nicole, Father Benedict, um, even Jan Marl came for a visit, Randy came for a visit. Thanks so much. It's gr actually great to see all of you. I call her my one-two punch because usually I'm very intense when I first meet people, especially in an evangelical setting. He's yeah, back he again. He's modeling. He's back again. Look at him. Yeah. Welcome back, Wasabi. Good to see you again. Welcome to St. Joseph's. Yeah. <laughs> Wasabi. 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 Now, probably the hardest thing to have to have dealt with these last few days that has just kept me so incredibly busy is basically unpacking, settling, moving, you name it. I've got to get furniture in place. I've got to do all these different things. And I've actually explored the campus already. I've been up into the bell tower. There's actually some real bells up there, but they're just not functional at the moment. We're going to work on that. Apparently, there's some work that has to be done in the bell tower. So the bells have been disconnected temporarily. But those are the uh, ones that were put out over the speaker system. There are real bells up there, and someday I'm going to go back up there with the camera, and I'll get you some good in uh, pictures of them. <laughs> 